Well, old buses, leaky roofs, and even teachers leaving for better pay. These are three of the problems and even more facing Danville Community Schools. Now, there just was an election night, and on that night, the Danville community rejected funding that would fix these problems. So today, our Rich Van Wyke is looking at the issues and what the district now plans to do moving forward. Danville students will probably see larger classes, more leaky roofs, older school buses, and fewer academic programs as a result of voters overwhelmingly rejecting two property tax increases. That's what we believe is going to happen uh, in order without new revenue to make sure we can retain our, our teaching force. In just two years, Superintendent Tracy Schaefer has replaced about a third of the district's teachers. They will go to other districts uh, that can pay more money. Uh, some actually choose to leave education and go into business areas. One referendum would have increased salaries, replaced 17-year-old school buses, and improved school security. The high school's main entrance doesn't have a security vestibule. Once visitors are through the front door, they can go anywhere they want. A second referendum would have raised tens of millions of dollars to renovate schools that were brand new when the class of 73 was young. Leaky windows and roofs, heating and cooling and other systems will be patched up instead of replaced. Uh, we've had uh, chillers fail, we've had boilers fail, so it's an ongoing process to try to keep those running. <laughs> the cash-strapped Hendricks County School District, like teachers, plans to lean on lawmakers for more money and keep exploring options with community leaders. Of all the college courses Schaefer completed to earn a doctorate degree and become a school superintendent. You have none on uh, running political campaigns. And, uh, and that's unfortunately what school funding has come to for many districts. Rich Van Wyke, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Now voters next half a dozen school tax referendums in three other communities. And they approved six referendums in six other communities. Well, there